The copper scroll is unique among the Dead Sea Scrolls because its text was carved on a thin copper sheet. This method of writing was common in the ancient world. However, such a large scroll written in this manner is most unusual. Because the copper scroll was very badly corroded, it remained untouched in the Central Museum in Amman for four years. What if a 2,000-year-old scroll didn't just list treasure, but described something no ancient text should even mention, an underground reactor? The Dead Sea Scrolls have fascinated us for decades, but one stands apart, the Copper Scroll. Unlike its papyrus siblings, this metallic mystery was literally carved into sheets of copper 2,000 years ago. Scientists using a groundbreaking quantum core, AI system, have just made an astonishing discovery. Hidden in a damaged fragment, they found a phrase that translates to eternal vessel of radiance, interpreted by researchers as possibly describing a buried reactor. Think about that for a moment, a first century document potentially referencing technology that shouldn't exist for another 1,900 years. Today we'll explore how this line could change how we see ancient history and what might be hidden beneath the desert. Was this a poetic description of something mundane or evidence of knowledge that rewrites our understanding of the ancient world? The answer might shock you. And I want to know, what do you think this mysterious vessel of radiance could be? Drop your theories in the comments below. The Copper Scroll has always been an anomaly among the Dead Sea Scrolls. Engraved on metal instead of written on parchment, it lists 64 locations of buried treasure. But what if it contains something far more valuable than gold and silver? Enter the Quantum Core, a revolutionary system that merges quantum computing with artificial intelligence. Unlike traditional computers that process information sequentially, quantum systems evaluate countless possibilities simultaneously. This technology can detect these patterns invisible to human eyes and previous scanning methods. When researchers pointed it at heavily corroded sections of the scroll, something extraordinary happened. The AI reconstructed a phrase that translates to, under the ruin in the hill, buried is an eternal vessel of radiance. Let that sink in, not gold, not silver, an eternal vessel of radiance. The research team was stunned. The AI specifically flagged this phrase as describing a self-sustaining energy source, something that produces continuous light or power without being depleted. In modern terms, the closest comparison would be a reactor. The discovery forced archaeologists to reconsider everything about the Copper Scroll. What if this ancient inventory wasn't just listing precious metals? What if it documented objects beyond our historical understanding? This could represent the first textual reference to advanced technology in antiquity, a revelation that challenges the entire timeline of human technological development. Now, stop for a second. Imagine you're an ancient scribe. You see something glowing, something dangerous, something unlike fire or oil. How would you describe it? You'd probably use the words you knew, fire, vessel, radiance. And today, our technology rereads those words and finds something we never expected reactor. What's truly fascinating is how the scroll's metallic medium preserved this information for two millennia. Could the ancients have specifically chosen copper because they knew it would outlast parchment? The implications are staggering. But before we jump to conclusions, let's examine what experts think this mysterious vessel of radiance might actually be. Why reactor matters. Let's get clear on why this matters. What exactly is a reactor? Think of it this way. A reactor is basically a fire that never goes out, except fueled by physics instead of wood. Modern nuclear reactors harness the energy released when atoms split apart. But here's the thing. The first nuclear reactor was built in 1942 by Enrico Fermi. That's nearly 2,000 years after the Copper Scroll was created. If this interpretation is correct, it shatters our understanding of ancient knowledge. It suggests people in the first century encountered energy sources we thought impossible for their time. The implications are both thrilling and unsettling. What exactly did these ancient scribes witness? And how could they possibly describe a technology that wouldn't exist for another two millennia? One possibility connects directly to where the scroll was found. The ancient Near East contains several copper mining regions, including the famous Timna Valley. This is where it gets fascinating. Modern science tells us that copper deposits sometimes contain uranium, 
In fact, copper and uranium are often found together in certain geological formations. Could ancient miners have uncovered uranium-bearing ore that emitted strange heat or radiation? Might they have discovered pitch blend, a uranium-rich mineral that sometimes feels warm to the touch due to radioactive decay? Such a discovery would have seemed miraculous or terrifying to people of that era. An object that glows faintly or generates heat without fire would defy all understanding. But if they did, why hide it and why describe it in code? Because what comes next suggests this wasn't just treasure. It may have been a secret they were desperate to protect. The Copper Scroll isn't formatted like other Dead Sea Scrolls. It's not a religious text or historical record. It's a list, precise locations, measurements, and depths. Imagine finding something that seemed to contain eternal fire, something dangerous, something that might make people sick if they got too close. Wouldn't you want to bury it somewhere safe? And wouldn't you want to leave instructions for future generations about where to find it, or perhaps where to avoid? What happens when we overlay these locations on modern maps might surprise you even more. Multidisciplinary Possibilities Let's step back and look at this discovery through different scientific lenses. What could this eternal vessel of radiance actually be? Nuclear physicists suggest it might describe a naturally radioactive deposit. Certain minerals emit heat and radiation for thousands of years without changing appearance. Archaeologists offer a more conservative view. They propose it's simply poetic language for a smelting pit or special furnace used in metalworking. Religious scholars see parallels to divine eternal fire mentioned in various ancient texts. The eternal flame in the temple in Jerusalem was considered sacred. Engineers point to other ancient technologies we once thought impossible. Remember the Baghdad battery? A 2,000-year-old device that could generate electricity and speculative historians suggest something truly remarkable that ancient people discovered and safeguarded actual advanced technology. Each interpretation changes how we view history, but one parallel stands out above all others. In 1942, scientists built the world's first nuclear reactor, Chicago Pile 1. After the experiment, they dismantled it and buried it in an Illinois forest. They marked the site with a stone that reads, Caution, do not dig. Buried in this area is radioactive material. It's chilling that both modern science and a 2,000-year-old scroll use the same language, buried reactor. This isn't just coincidence, it's a pattern that appears when humans encounter powerful energy sources they don't fully understand. Think about that. The same cautionary language separated by two millennia. Some researchers believe ancient people might have encountered naturally occurring nuclear phenomena. The Oklo site in Gabon proves that natural nuclear reactors can form under the right geological conditions. While Oklo was active billions of years before humans existed, it shows that nature can create what we consider advanced technology. Could similar phenomena have occurred in the ancient Near East? Smaller, more recent, but still beyond ancient understanding. And this is where the story explodes, because when we look at other ancient texts, we find clues that this idea of everlasting fire might not be unique to the Copper Scroll. From Ezekiel's wheels within wheels to the chariots of fire that transported Elijah, ancient texts contain descriptions of inexplicable power and light. What if these weren't just spiritual metaphors? What if they were attempts to describe encounters with something tangible, something that defied explanation? Forbidden Parallels The eternal vessel of radiance isn't isolated in ancient texts. Similar descriptions appear throughout history, hiding in plain sight. Consider the Ark of the Covenant. Biblical accounts describe it as dangerously powerful, sometimes glowing and deadly to touch. Those who handled it improperly allegedly died on the spot. Modern physicists have wondered, could the Ark have contained something radioactive? The symptoms described, burns, sickness, death, match radiation exposure. Then there's Elijah's ascension in chariots of fire, and Ezekiel's famous vision of radiant wheels with fire enfolding itself. For centuries, we've interpreted these as purely spiritual metaphors. But what if they were attempts to describe encounters with advanced energy sources? The Hebrew word or means light or radiance the same root word used in the Copper Scrolls, Vessel of Radiance. 
This linguistic connection can't be ignored. We see similar patterns in other ancient cultures. Roman and Greek texts mention eternal lamps in temples that supposedly burned for centuries without fuel. The historian Plutarch described lamps that burned continuously for over 500 years. Most scholars dismiss these as exaggerations until we discovered the Baghdad battery. This 2,000-year-old device consists of a ceramic jar containing a copper cylinder and iron rod. When filled with an acidic liquid, it produces electricity. Scientists initially ridiculed the idea that ancient people created batteries. Today, it's accepted as legitimate ancient technology. What's emerging is a pattern. Ancient texts contain encoded descriptions of advanced technology hidden within religious or mystical language. The Copper Scroll might be part of this tradition, but unlike religious texts, it's purely practical, a technical document listing precise locations and measurements. You might be thinking, this all sounds too far-fetched. But ask yourself this, how many times have we laughed at ancient myths, only to discover a real invention behind them? The Baghdad Battery, Archimedes' War Machines, even Greek Fire, what if the Copper Scroll is another case, waiting to be rediscovered? Look at the Hebrew words themselves. The combination of terms for vessel, keli, eternal, olam, and radiance, or creates a description remarkably similar to how we'd explain a reactor in simple terms. When analyzed by linguistic experts, these word combinations stand out as unique in ancient Hebrew literature. They're technical, not poetic or religious. But if that's true, where is it? What would archaeologists even find if they dared to dig where the scroll points? What if they dig? Let's play this forward. What if archaeologists actually excavated the site described in this newly deciphered fragment? The copper scroll provides specific directions, locations, landmarks, and even precise depths. Under the ruin in the hill, 40 cubits deep, Modern technology could pinpoint these coordinates with unprecedented accuracy. Ground-penetrating radar would reveal chambers without disturbing a grain of sand. If excavations began, several possibilities emerge. They might discover a chamber containing unusual metals, perhaps copper mixed with rare minerals that ancient people found fascinating. Using gamma-ray spectrometers, scientists could detect radiation traces far beyond background levels. These instruments can identify specific radioactive elements and how long they've been there. The most thrilling possibility? Finding an actual vessel or container housing something that defies conventional understanding. Imagine unearthing an object that still emits energy after 2,000 years. The scientific implications would be earth-shattering. Or they might find nothing at all, which only deepens the mystery. Why describe an eternal vessel of radiance if nothing exists? If researchers discovered even traces of radioactive material, it would force us to rewrite history, not just technological history, our understanding of ancient knowledge itself. Think about it. The Baghdad battery proved ancient people understood electricity. What would a buried reactor prove? It would transform how we interpret both technology and mythology. Suddenly those mythical eternal flames might not be metaphors after all. What do you think? If scientists did find a buried chamber of radiance, would it prove lost technology? Or just force us to rethink how ancient people described the world? Let us know in the comments before we reveal what researchers are planning next. To fully appreciate this discovery, we need to understand what makes the Copper Scroll unique among the Dead Sea Scrolls. Discovered in 1952 in Cave 3 near Qumran, this brittle copper document stood out immediately. While other scrolls were written on parchment or papyrus, this one was literally engraved on metal. The scroll was so corroded that researchers couldn't unroll it without destroying it. They had to cut it into strips just to read the text. What they found wasn't religious teachings or biblical passages. Instead, they discovered what amounts to an ancient treasure map. The Copper Scroll lists 64 hiding locations for massive quantities of gold and silver. We're talking tons of precious metals a king's ransom. For decades, treasure hunters and archaeologists have searched these locations. None have found the promised riches. This has led some scholars to question whether the scroll is fact or fiction. Could it be recording real treasures or merely folklore? 
Translation challenges have plagued researchers from the beginning. The scroll contains unusual Hebrew vocabulary not found in other texts. Many experts believe it was copied by a scribe who didn't fully understand what he was writing. Imagine transcribing technical jargon in a language you barely speak. In the 1990s, the scroll underwent extensive conservation and high-resolution X-ray imaging. These detailed scans captured even the faintest markings. These are the same scans that the Quantum Core AI analyzed, but with computing power, previous researchers couldn't dream of. So yes, the Copper Scroll has always been weird, less scripture, more treasure map. But now, thanks to quantum computing, we're finding that maybe it's even stranger than anyone thought. The quantum breakthrough didn't just read what was already known. It found something new, something hidden between corrosion and time. And that brings us to what happens next. The discovery of a potential buried reactor reference isn't the end of the story, it's just the beginning. The discovery of this mysterious phrase isn't just a historical curiosity, it's launching a whole new phase of research. The team behind the Quantum Core has outlined an ambitious roadmap for the next two years of investigation. First, they're expanding their analysis to every remaining fragment of the Copper Scroll. The goal is to see if similar phrases appear elsewhere in the text. If the eternal vessel of radiance isn't isolated, if it forms part of a pattern, that strengthens the case for something truly unusual. They're also applying the same quantum technology to other Dead Sea Scrolls, especially those with unusual technical language. One researcher explained, We need to determine if this is a one-off anomaly or part of a broader technical vocabulary that's been hiding in plain sight. But the most exciting next step would be physical verification. The team is working with archaeological authorities to identify the exact location described in the newly deciphered fragment. The Copper Scroll provides geographic markers that could, in theory, be matched to modern locations. In the ruin in the hill might refer to a specific archaeological site in today's West Bank or Jordan. If permits are granted, a targeted excavation could begin within months. Not a treasure hunt, but a scientific investigation. Modern technology would transform this search. Ground-penetrating radar could identify underground chambers before any digging begins. Radiation detectors could scan for elevated levels of radioactive isotopes, the fingerprints of any nuclear material, even after thousands of years. The stakes couldn't be higher. If even one site shows evidence of something unusual, the buried reactor line could be the most important find since the Dead Sea Scrolls themselves. This isn't just about rewriting technology timelines. It's about fundamentally changing how we interpret ancient texts and the knowledge of past civilizations. The fear that keeps researchers up at night isn't that they'll find nothing. It's that they'll find something that defies explanation. So, where does this leave us? Is there really a 2,000-year-old description of a reactor buried in the desert? The honest answer is, we don't know yet. The phrase, eternal vessel of radiance, might be a mistranslation or poetic language for something mundane. It could refer to a smelting furnace, a religious artifact, or even a container of precious stones that reflect light. Or it might signal something profound, evidence that ancient people encountered energy phenomena they couldn't explain with their existing knowledge. The beauty of science is that we'll eventually find out. Through rigorous verification, peer review, and physical investigation, the truth will emerge. Either way, the Copper Scroll is no longer just a treasure map. It's a mystery that forces us to rethink the line between myth and science. How many other ancient texts contain hidden technical knowledge, waiting for the right technology to decode them? What other secrets lie buried beneath desert sands, encoded in scrolls, or hidden in plain sight within the words we thought we understood? The quantum revolution isn't just changing our future. It's illuminating our past in ways we never imagined possible. If you want to follow every twist in this mystery, hit subscribe. Because if a reactor is really hidden beneath the desert, the next discovery could change history forever. The truth is out there, and now, for the first time, we might have the technology to find it.